welcome to Kerbal Space Program Kerbalism. My name is Seth. In our last episode, we looked at designing a craft that was capable, well, it was going to be part one of our station. Now, we're going to call it Gagarin Station because of Yuri Gagarin, the, the first person to go into space. So let's have a quick look at what what it actually looks like in the VAB. Uh, we also have a couple of flights in the air, in space, Valentina and Jebediah, both in the Ophelia 6 and 7 craft. Now they're currently docked at about 85, 86 kilometres above the surface of Kerbin. And they've probably got a couple of days of food left, so we're going to have to look at bringing them back as well. So let's... Uh, start by having just a quick look at the first stage of launcher or the first part of our station when it opens up so this will be the craft called titania So this was designed in the last episode and it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's not great, but it will do just as the first part of the station. And so it's got RCS, it's got some batteries, solar panels, comms. The launcher stage should be able to deorbit. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. So I'm looking at putting this into a 110 kilometer orbit. Still going to have struts. That's fine. So what we might do is we will actually time warp. Oh, uh, we might. What's the time? So we launched Jebediah. Sorry, it's not Jebediah, it's Bill. Bill and Valentina are up in orbit docked um, doing an EVA. So Valen Bill went on EVA and inspected his craft. So what we'll do is we will EVA Valentina and have her inspect her craft. And then we'll look at bringing them back. Day 221. Yep, so it's the same day the Ophelia craft launched. So how much food do we have left? Five days food. So we can time well. So that's switch. Uh, that allows us to see. That's Bill. And we always launch second, so he should have the most food. I don't know if Valentina actually has consumed any food at this stage. 31 to 49, 31 to 49, like it just doesn't seem... Maybe they don't, maybe it's that low, but I mean oxygen's gone down. Okay. Okay, so now let's EVA Valentina. Uh, let's get EVA report, wonderful. Okay. 
Okay, so let's grab entry, equip, golf club. Why would equipping a golf club just make it go stupid all of a sudden? Got the golf club. Four. Golf score can't, can't be done right now. I think I need to be on the surface of a planet. It's a pretty cool reflection though. Except the uh, golf club clip to a helmet, that's a bit freaky. Okay, so let's... Let's do... I don't know, we'll do a quick inspection on the, uh, the engine. Closer can I get to it? Oh, yeah. I don't do that. Expect it's practically new, that's what I expect. Curious to see what the uh, messages say when the thing's falling apart. So let's, let's get on back into the capsule. Cannot remove helmet, okay. Oh, the lights, wonderful. Let's grab that. And let's board. So I think now that we've been here for two days, that's fine. So let's time warp now a little bit more. Yeah, interesting, the food... Oh yeah, the food went down a touch. Okay, that's fine, so I've got plenty of food here. 66, 69, 62, 98, yeah. What time accelerate one more? Okay, so I guess that's maximum. Yeah, the food is going down, the water's going down, the oxygen is going down, that's all fine. Why is it slowing down time warp? Okay, so I think here should be okay. Let's bring it out of time warp. Let's um Yeah, okay, so you can see that I've I have actually reduced the texture quality a touch just to get some performance back. Um I really need to set some flags around the KSC so that we can find them easier. I think it's... I think it's here. Uh... I don't know where it is. I mean that's... I've got nothing. I really have no idea where it is. Um, so, what we might do is we'll just uh, we'll just separate them one at a time. So, uh, let's control from here. This will be Bill. So Bill is coming home. Uh, 
and let's. I'm not even going to plan a. Uh, well, let's. I'm not even going to plan a burn. I'm just going to burn, and we'll land where we land. So let's. Burnt a little bit to get away from the craft. Wait, retrograde. Turn the thrust limiter up. Probably not burn that way. Bye bye, Valentina. Burn. Now I guess what we could actually do is we could bring the craft, we could bring the Titania 1, or the first part of Kikaran Station up to Valentina and dock with her there. Um, but it's actually interesting. Yeah, I was going to make it a 110 kilometer orbit, so that probably won't work too well. So now that we've Got a D orbit. Now that we're suborbital, we'll uh, time warp around until we enter the atmosphere. At which point we'll decouple. And we'll let that stage go. Everything looks good. Oh, we'll actually just is time warp the whole way through this. So that's the Ophelia 7, that's Valentina up there, 22 kilometers off in the distance. Inmus, one. The orbital stage that we just jet jettisoned. I have no idea where we're going to land. I didn't really pay that much attention. It's going to be a night night landing, but so be it. Probably should find out what spamming the logs with those error messages. There's my uh, my three frames a second. I'd say that null ref is the uh, is the cause of the performance issue. I'm not sure one of the mods is is not playing nicely with something else, but so be it. Okay, so. 
20,000 meters above the surface. We'll land in the water. Still not sure where I am. But, um... There we go, shoots have opened up. Turn off time warp just to make sure the craft does slow down properly. Then we'll, uh, we'll accelerate. Get rid of the heat shield. And it was landed pretty much safely. So what we'll do now is we'll, uh, we'll recover that. We'll jump back over to Valentina and do pretty much the same thing. Burn retrograde and bring her back safely. Should be a lot of science from this though because there were some science experiments on there. So let's uh, recover that vessel. Okay, that's good. Science. Okay. I'm. Oh wow. Splashdown, landing, B43, Mach 2, first EVA, first orbital EVA, first EVA. Yeah, right. And 10% solid rocket, that's not a bad haul. Um, no science though, I'm wondering if there is, Kerbalism does tend to put all the science into the active hard drive, and I'm wondering if Valentina had the active hard drive. So that should be fairly easy to identify, we can just go and fly that craft. and bring her back safely as well. Okay, so... Not going to muck about too much, so let's just point retrograde. Yeah, three days food, interesting. And... Rust limiter up, and off we go, burn. Okay, that'll do. Now let's time accelerate. Do we come to the atmosphere? Let's jettison. and accelerate. Yeah, okay, so there's, okay, so there we are. There's the data, there's a skin sample, tentacle blood, material study. That was, pretty sure that was hers. I. 
blood and hook. Yeah, no, there's skin samples. Just, yeah, some of that's um, Bill's experiments as well. So, yeah, that's fine. That's expected. I think we're going to fly over the KSC again. So there is the KSC down there. I probably should put a flag, or at least get a flag somewhere near the monolith down there, so that it's it's easier to identify. Should um, probably investigate the island runway as well. At this point, I'm probably going to have to go and investigate what's causing those null refs and try to see if I can get that resolved because this performance is just poor, want of a better word. It's it's really starting to be frustrating, um, and I'm trying to actually wonder if it's getting worse or not. So there'll be some investigation on that, and we might have to change some mods um, just to see if we can fix it up to try to get some performance back additionally uh, we may look at some of the uh, some of the visual enhancement mods I mean a scatter a distant object Eve um, just seems my computer's not coping which is a shame but it is what it is, so we may we may need to look at some of those. Okay, halfway through the atmosphere now. the parachutes I'll drop down the time warp while they open just to make sure that nothing goes, goes horrendously wrong Time accelerate again. So now we should be able to get all the science from this. Yeah, I mean that's, you, you look at the speed, if I'm falling at 4 metres a second and my altitude's dropping at about 4 metres a second, so I'm probably, and I, I'm on 4 times time warp, then I'm probably about running 10, if that, frames a second. Um, Yeah, 
that's pretty bad. So let's recover that vessel. Okay, 34 science. I was actually expecting a little bit more than that, to be honest. Um, it's probably some of the science I got for the last flight too. So, upper atmosphere material base, skin sample, upper atmosphere. So we only got those. Okay, yeah, right. So the rest of them we'd already had. So still, we've got a reasonable amount of science. Research 3, EVA, portal EVA, first docking, nice. Um, I mean, so we've got a fair bit of science, 338 science. Um, we're probably going to start looking at getting the station up. Uh, I am going to do some investigation into the mods that I've got installed to see if we can resolve some of the performance issues. Uh, it just... You know, even even in here, it's... Even or e even in the, the Space Center, it's spamming the logs. So we'll... Uh, we'll We'll see what we can do about that, um, but I think we'll leave that episode here for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me again next time. Bye for now.